Okay, thanks, Victor. Well, you've probably seen people claim on social media that COVID-19 has a 98% or higher survival rate. So wearing masks or closing businesses is excessive. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to put that to the trust index. I've certainly heard this before, Doc. What do you say? Well, you know, Kim, as of yesterday, the number of cases in the U.S. was 3,500,000 or 512,000. The number of deaths was 137,000, which makes the case fatality rate about 3.9%. So based on confirmed cases, about 96% of people do survive. In fact, the real number is probably higher, but that is not a reason to think that everything is okay. The fact is, because of the significant number of asymptomatic or minimally symptomatic people with COVID-19, we don't actually know exactly how many people have been infected. Based on community surveillance, the CDC estimates the number of infected people may be as high as 10 times the number of confirmed cases. Using the current numbers, that means over 30 million people could have been infected. That would make the infection fatality rate 0.4% meaning 99.6% of people survive. The problem is, even a fatality rate of 0.4% is crippling. Here are some of the numbers to put it in perspective. If the virus was allowed to spread to everyone in the U.S., that means over 1.3 million people would die. In the meantime, with over one in a thousand cases being hospitalized, as we have already seen, hospitals would be overwhelmed and there would be additional suffering. So I would give that claim that 98% of people survive a be careful on the trust index. The fact is the survival rate per infection, a number we don't know precisely at this point, is in fact probably higher. But at the same time, just doing some simple math, it is clear that unchecked spread would kill an unacceptable number of people and frankly create a crushing burden on health care. Yeah, and this doesn't even account for long-term consequences of infections. No, Kim, it doesn't. You know, whether it's something simple like a loss of smell or taste or mm -hmm. something more dangerous mm -hmm. like a lung injury, blood clot, or heart damage, every extra person that gets infected and dies or has a complication because people didn't do everything they could to decrease the spread, frankly, it's just unnecessary. Yeah. Okay. Dr. McGeorge, we appreciate it. So much to learn on that front. Well, no comic conventions, no Marvel movies. Pretty tough summer for superhero fans, though not all is lost.